Good morning, good afternoon, Roundhouse and Winchingham Schools. Uh, lovely to be with you all again for my third assembly. Um, now, the, or is it my fourth assembly? Oh my goodness, I can't remember if it's my third or my fourth. Anyway, whichever one it is, it's lovely, lovely, lovely to have some more time with you. And uh, I said when I did my last assembly that this time uh, I would be talking with you about birds. Um, and so here we go. Now, I want us to imagine, first of all, that it's not uh, 2020, but in fact, uh, we've shot forward in time and it's actually 2050. So 30 years have passed. And imagine um, that you're not children who go to school anymore, but you are grown-ups with children who go to school. And uh, just imagine that it's September 2050 and your children are coming to say, oh, we're going to have a history off the page day. And you said, oh, well, that's interesting. I used to do a history off the page day when I was at school. What's your topic? And it wasn't Tudors and it wasn't Romans. They are going to think about the time uh, back in 2020 when um, everybody across the whole world had to go in lockdown and they're going to spend a day learning about all the things that we had to get used to or are having to get used to now. Just imagine that. So imagine that um, they're going to learn about um, having to be two metres apart. They're going to learn about being in bubbles, learning in bubbles. They're going to learn about this thing called Zoom. They're going to learn that um, everybody made uh, rainbows for their windows as a symbol of hope uh, that even what was difficult wouldn't last forever but um, uh, would improve one day. Um, they're going to learn that we all learn to do lots of hand washing and to sing uh, happy birthday twice whilst we were doing it. Um, and that some of us had to get used to wearing face masks when we went to the supermarket. And so their history off the page day uh, was all about learning what life was like in 2020. Now, I wonder uh, what you would add, what you would be saying to your uh, children um, about living through a pandemic. I wonder what you would say, what you would include. When I was thinking about that, um, I was thinking, and I've, I, I know that other people have noticed this as well, that one of the things I would definitely include uh, something that has been a part of this uh, whole lockdown experience um, actually has to do with birds because with less traffic on the road and with uh, less airplanes in the sky, it seems to me that we have noticed birdsong in a way that, well, I just can't remember noticing before. Um, so the other morning I woke up and it was early because it was light outside and I, could, I was woken because of birdsong. I could hear the birds just chirping away outside uh, my window. Uh, the other day, uh, it was a Monday and um, sometimes on a Monday I try and take a longer run. You'll remember I talked to you about running last time. So uh, they just opened Grafham Water and I thought I'll go for a run around Grafham Water. Um, and I thought it might be busy because it had been closed for a long time, but actually there weren't many other people there at all. So I had my Love's Farm Runners t-shirt on and uh, I was going, I was running around, running, running, running. And then I thought, do you know, what is it? What is the noise that I am noticing most of all as I run. And as I listened, I realised it was birds. And for a minute I had to stop and think, oh my goodness, the birds are making an absolute racket. Uh, all I could hear was bird song. Um, and I thought to myself, you know, that has got to be one of the blessings of this 2020 experience, this 2020 lockdown experience, that I've noticed uh, birdsong much, much more than at other times. So one of the things that I've done to help me is I have got a poster um, up on my wall in the kitchen so that 
when birds come into my garden to eat from my bird feeders, I can have a look at them and check my poster and see if I can begin to recognise them. And the other thing that I've done is I've, um, I've also started listening to see, well, can I distinguish uh, the different bird song? Uh, one of the songs, one of the, one of the uh, bird songs that I heard when I was round, uh, running around Grafton was definitely the sound of a cuckoo. That's easier to recognise. Um, but it was amazing. I, I thought, oh my goodness, I, it's a long time since I'd heard the sound of a cuckoo. But it was definitely there, as clear as anything, because there was just so much less noise from other things, from, from road and from traffic and from, uh, from the air, from the being a lack of aeroplanes. And it got me thinking, actually, about uh, one of my favourite verses. I've got lots of favourite verses, but one of my favourite verses from one of the Gospels, um, when people are coming to Jesus and they're kind of worried about things. Uh, and he says to them, Jesus says to them, look, don't worry. Uh, look at the birds. Think about the birds. Um, uh, and just think about the fact that they they don't go shopping, they don't uh, they don't sow seed uh, to grow things to eat, and yet uh, your Father in heaven, take God, takes care of them, and you are worth so much more to God than birds. And if God takes care of birds, how much more will He take care of you? So don't worry, don't worry about things. And that is great advice, isn't it? We don't know how much longer we're going to have to limit the things that we do, um, but maybe it will be just for a little bit longer. Um, but we needn't worry, uh, because there is a God, uh, this is what Christians believe, there is a God who cares for us, who cares uh, for the birds, uh, and cares for creation, and cares for each of us. All right. So I am going to leave it there, a shorter assembly than usual. Uh, I'm going to leave it there, um, except to say a prayer for you, which is what I usually do, isn't it, at the end of an assembly. And you know the ropes. If you want to make it your prayer, you join in with an Amen. And if you don't, that's absolutely fine. You just stay quiet. So, Father in heaven, I thank you uh, that you love and care for each one of us. Uh, I thank you for... The blessings of this particular season. I thank you uh, for the summertime. I thank you that we can be outdoors more. I thank you for all the things that are growing and that bring us pleasure um, in creation. I thank you for birds and for bird song. And uh, Father, I thank you uh, that you would love us to understand that you care for the birds of the air. And in the same way, how much more will you? care for us. So Father, help us to trust you um, with our lives and with all the things that might in any other way cause us to be concerned. Help us to put our trust uh, in you and to know your blessing each day. Amen. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for listening. Next time, what will I do next time? Will I have another go with, um, will I have another go with my eggs, the four eggs? You know, I might just risk it because I have been practicing. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but I look forward to seeing you again soon. All right. Bye.